Hi people, um, today we're going to be drawing the python which is part of the snakes and ladders board so we're just going to be using what we have at home that's the whole point of this uh, snakes and ladders board that we're going to make is it's a long project and it's just going to do a bit a day or every other day or whatever so today is the python and I'm just using cereal box card um, it's kind of smooth enough and then it's it's cardboard so then we can cut it out and put it on our board after so here we go so this is your cereal box card and I've, I've sketched out the python head and a bit of the body um, always have a little piece of test paper card with you so that you can just test your pens and your pencils um, test that you're happy with the colour and the thickness so um, I'm going to do the dark areas first because then you can work on the dark areas first and then shadows and then leave the highlights till the last thing uh, this snake's quite yellowy brown so I'm not sure how the highlights are going to look yet it might I might need to do a little bit of white on the very top but I won't know until we've got there so um, he's got a really nice brown I forgot this is brown felt tip pen brown bit brown stripe down so I'm just going to do it as a little wiggly woggly line Um, he's got a nice little brown bit on the top of his nose um, and then down the middle of his head he's got this stripey bit as well so just to do some nice Nice wiggly line down the back there. And then the other areas are the, the sort of orangey, greeny, browny colour. I uh, really got the right sort of colours, but I don't know if you can see I've got yellow. I'm going to use some, go on to brown pencil, I think. And maybe a darker one. The top of his head is quite dark. There is some, yeah, it's not really dark enough on this cardboard. Um, he has got some scales as well, but I'm not going to worry too much about that detail. Um, that's not really working. Right, so let's get a another brown pencil, see if that works. Just have to press a bit, a bit harder. It's not great. Maybe you lot at home have got a better set of pens than me. I haven't got a light brown and the felt tips, which is a bit annoying. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is get my black line, line pen and draw in his mouth. Like that. Okay. And then I might go around his tongue as well, just to give it a bit of a definition. Um, I can do his eye actually. That's. Sort of shape. I'm going to leave a little gap for the highlight like that, and his eye is really nice and yellow. So, with a yellow felt tip pen, I'm gonna again leave that bit that white bit there for the highlight. So what I might do now actually is use the yellow felt tip pen for a bit of his colour 
um, around his cheek it's quite yellow I'm just going along the edge of that brown bit. Quite frustrating when you haven't got what you need, isn't it? Anyway, we're making do. That's the whole point of this. So I'll just go over that brown with the yellow. And all these little short strokes. We'll just give it a little bit of a texture. If you just colour it in like that, it's going to look really flat. So, let's, let's do that. He's yellow, I said, under here. Got that bit through his eye. Do a little bit around there. Right, okay. I'm starting to take a little bit of shape. liner just to give that a bit of definition but I don't want to go all the way around well, I might do in the end but anyway at the moment I'm just doing that so I've got this green this sort of colour green avocado kind of green because um, I haven't really got the colours I want so we're just going to make do so follow that black line a bit and I'm going to go around the edge there'll be a little bit of a shadow there just do a few little strokes in there Okay, so I'm more or less happy with the snake head. Um, as I said, I haven't really got the, all the colours and everything that I need, but none of us have at the moment because we're not getting anything, are we? So we're all stuck indoors, and this is the best we can do. So your pencil is actually pretty good if you want to get some shading done on top. 
I haven't yet done much. This stripe down his head is meant to be a pattern and I've, you know, so anyway, you move on to the body and he's got some amazing, almost looks pixelated, the pattern that he's got down his body. So um, I'm going to quick, sort of, quickly kind of sketch in the darker areas. They can be a bit random because they are a bit random on this snake, but um, it's got a lovely, almost rounded, but they're pixelated at the same time. So I'm going to do one there and then that one and they're all a bit going off a bit random. I don't want it to look too perfect. So I'm going to do that one there, that one there. 